Today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy chocolate peanut butter fudge. There's just three ingredients in it. We've got 100 grams of chocolate. Use the darkest chocolate you can if you're on a low carb diet. Then we've got some stevia. You can use stevia, sugar, whatever you like. And I've got a quarter of a cup of creamy peanut butter. And I'm just going to melt it all together over a low heat. While the chocolate and everything is busy melting, I'm just preparing my little dish I'm going to use to pop it into the fridge in. I've got a little rectangular Pyrex. You could just grease that, but I'd rather pop a bit of greased fridge paper which I've greased into it. And so then it won't stick and won't mess up my Pyrex. So I'm going to keep an eye on the fudge and watch as it melts. So just keep an eye, stir as you go, and you'll see everything starts to very slowly melt together. You don't want to do this over a high heat. You just want to slowly melt the chocolate and peanut butter together. It's getting there. Look at the beautiful melting chocolate and peanut butter. It smells pretty incredible. But I'm just going to keep mixing it until all of that chocolate is melted. There you go. It's pretty much melted. Just make sure all of the little chips are melted. And you don't want to bring it up to the bubble. So once it's melted, we'll take it straight off the heat. That's perfect. Look how smooth and creamy it is. And now we'll just simply pour it into our prepared dish just like that and I'm using my smallish little rectangular dish over here the smaller the dish you use the higher up you'll be able to get your fudge so it's not a huge layer or a huge portion but it's just enough to last the family a couple of days but you can feel free to double it and use whatever size you feel is appropriate so now I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and we'll give it a few hours to set and I'll show you once it's done the fudge has been in the fridge for a few hours and it's hardened up so we can take it out of the dish and it just makes it so much easier. No worrying about anything sticking in the dish. It's all now on our parchment paper which I'm going to carefully remove and cut it up into pieces. Look at this big chunk of fudge. Oh, it looks so good. Can't wait to cut into it. It is a little bit of an odd shape. Kind of looks a bit like a house, doesn't it? And so I'm just going to gently cut it oh it's quite hard oh, look at that fudge you can cut as many pieces as you want really just portion control it so that you're happy i just want these little pieces oh that looks so good and teeny tiny ones too very irregular pieces i want but i just want it perfect so i can have a couple my kids can have a couple and they're just so good I've cut it up into pieces. Some are bigger chunks, some are smaller. It's really up to you how you like to cut your fudge. But wow, look at that. I had, of course, a sneaky taste before, and it's just perfect. If you like those peanut butter cup tup tastes, the chocolate and peanut butter, oh, it so goes so well together. I can't even talk. And it's so creamy and delicious and thick. Look at that beauty. So that is the video for today for this beautiful chocolate peanut butter fudge. Remember to check down below for the link to the blog post where I'll have the full step-by-step -step instructions so you can make this beautiful fudge. Look at it. Just perfect. And make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos and leave a comment to let me know what you thought of this fudge recipe and what sweet treat you'd like me to create next for you. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.